Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stephen Lee. In this video, I will be teaching you about the formation of interstitial fluid. So this is very important before you can understand about the lymphatic system. Okay, so please do pay attention in this video and hopefully you will learn something after this. So in human body tissues, all right, the cells are separated by what we call as the interstitial space. Again, interstitial space is the space between body cells. In this space, we have what we call as interstitial fluid. Okay, so before we look into the formation of interstitial fluid, you have to understand the basic components of the blood circulatory system. We have the heart that pumps blood, okay, away to the body cells through the artery. And you know that this artery is very large vessels. They can't enter to each and every single body cells which are so tiny. And therefore, they will branch out to the blood capillaries for exchange of substances to happen. Okay? So before they branch into the blood capillaries, there is one part of the blood vessel called the arterial. Okay, so you see artery, arterial, blood capillaries. What happened is from the artery to the arterial to the blood capillaries, the diameter is getting smaller and smaller. I hope that you can remember the basic concepts in physics in which P equals to F over A, which means pressure is inversely proportional to the area. The smaller the area, the higher the pressure. So when the blood passes from the artery to the arterial to the blood capillaries, the area is getting smaller and smaller and the pressure is getting higher and higher. This pressure is what we call as hydrostatic pressure. Why hydro? Because hydro stands for water and the main component in the blood is actually plasma, which is mainly water. So this hydrostatic pressure will force part of the blood plasma to diffuse out of the blood vessels into the interstitial space forming interstitial fluid. So again, in the interstitial space, we have interstitial fluid and this interstitial fluid is actually coming out from the blood capillaries due to the high hydrostatic pressure at the arterial. Do you understand this concept? Okay, so interstitial fluid, most of the components are actually same as the blood plasma. However, there are three cellular components which you cannot find in the interstitial fluid. First of all, there is no erythrocytes or red blood cells in the interstitial fluid. Secondly, there is no platelets in the interstitial fluid. Thirdly, there is also no plasma protein in the interstitial fluid. And the reason is because all these three components are too large to diffuse across the capillary wall. Okay, however, you have to note that leukocytes or white blood cells do present in the interstitial fluid because they have irregular shape that can squeeze through the tiny capillary wall. Okay, so I hope that you understand the process of formation of interstitial fluid as well as the components of interstitial fluid. I am Dr. Stephen Lee. Thank you for watching. If you find my biology re related videos are helpful for you, do subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook as well as Instagram page. Thank you so much.